Parker has the paperwork showing she bought and paid for the home, even has the deed. Only according to officials, that deed is worthless, and the Midtown company that sold her the property did her wrong. The small house on Detroit's west side was Corey Parker's slice of the American dream. The mother of four remembers the day she paid it off. Yeah, I'm happy. I own another own house. You know, my girls have been here since 2008. The house was purchased on land contract from what is now operating as the Detroit Property Exchange. Month after month, year after year, Parker paid $500 monthly until the balance was zero, nearly $30,000. I thought I owned the house. A notice informed Corey she wasn't the owner. The Detroit Land Bank Authority is. Said according to the Detroit Land Bank, they they sold me a house they didn't own. I I'm out of thirty thousand dollars. What am I supposed to do? Corey says she tried getting answers from the Detroit Property Exchange, but her calls were never returned. My name is Ronnie Dahl. So I called, then stopped by. Hi, it's Ronnie Dahl with Channel Seven, and went looking for answers. Is the manager here? Sorry? The manager? Not today, no. When I didn't get them, I waited. Are you the manager? No. Until the manager arrived. Are you the one I'm looking for? I hope not. Well, or I hope so. Meet Christian. He's the sales manager. She would like her thirty thousand dollars back. Can we get it back for her? Let me see what the what the file says. And okay. Because if you guys sold someone a property that you didn't own, you'll give her her money back, right? That would make sure. sense. Yeah. You think you own a house and then you find out you don't. It's just wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Very wrong. And I just want people to be aware of them. I really do. Christian, the sales manager, tells me he's looking into what could have gone wrong here. He hopes to have an answer to me by Friday. Meanwhile, the Detroit Land Bank Authority is working with Miss Parker to keep her in the home. In Midtown, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.